close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then again, all the way in, all the way out. Keep up with each breath. It's the continuity that makes a difference here. You can watch one breath and it doesn't make much difference for the mind. But if you watch the breath for a whole hour, it makes a huge difference. The mind has a place to settle down, has a place where it can feel at home. It let go a lot of its burdens, a lot of its responsibilities, a lot of the things it's clinging to that it doesn't have to, and finds that it's lighter. You live in the world in a very light way when you learn how to let go like this. This relates directly to the third of the Buddha's recommendations for what we do that leads to our well-being in future lifetimes. This reigns for two. We've been talking first about things we do that lead to our well-being in this lifetime, and then the ones for the next lifetime. For the next lifetime, it's conviction, virtue, generosity, and wisdom. We've done already the conviction and virtue, now it's time to think about generosity. And that's what it is, is letting go so that you can be lighter. We tend to think that the more things we can gather in together, the happier we'll be, but we just weigh ourselves down. And when you hold on to something like this, it's yours only as long as you can keep it into your grasp. Keep it in your grasp. But when you give things away with generosity, they become part of your future. You put it there in the world and it's going to come back. So you want to be very careful about what you give and how you give it. Because generosity is not just a matter of what you give, it's the attitude of which is given. There's a story they tell in the canon of a king who for a long time didn't believe in rebirth and finally was convinced that maybe rebirth was a possibility, so he told one of his workers to give alms to the monks. But he gave just really miserable stuff and he didn't really seem to be have his heart in it. And so the, the servant, as he was giving the alms, said, well, may, through the virtue of this, may I never meet up with this king again. The word gets to the king, so he asked the servant, why do you say that? And he says, well, the things you give are not very good, and your attitude in giving them is not given with respect. And so the king changed his mind and had the, had the servant give things with respect. Well, the servant was already giving things with respect. And they say that when they were reborn, the king was born in an empty palace without much, and the servant was born in a much better palace. It was because of the attitude of respect. This is what equalizes virtue, because some excuse, equalizes generosity. Excuse me. Because sometimes we think, well, people with a lot of things can give a lot of things in generosity, and they have advantage over people who have only a few things. But actually, it's the attitude of the mind that makes a difference. You give with a sense that you really are giving it, and you're not hoping for a favor in return. One, and secondly, you give it with an attitude of respect. You have it, give it with an attitude that something really good will come of this. This way, when you think of a generosity. Next time you sit down to meditate, it is uplifting for the mind. It gives energy to the mind. So remember, it's the attitude which is given that determines the generosity, the value of the generosity. This is the quality of mind that we're looking for here. You can't take the things that you've given and take them with you. But you can take that attitude of the mind, the quality of the mind with which you're given. That goes with you wherever you go. And that leads to your benefit, actually, not only for the next lifetime, but in this lifetime as well, all the way up into the future. As the Buddha said, it's the attitude that makes the difference, the, the attitude that makes the, the virtue out of the giving, creates the merit out of the giving. So make sure that when you give something, you really give it. It's given away and it's something to make yourself lighter. And you give it with respect. No matter who you give it to, whether their position is below yours or above yours, you give it with respect. So it becomes something nourishing to their mind as well. If you give something as if you're throwing it away or throwing it at somebody, then they don't want it. It's not a, a gift to them, it's an imposition. So give it with respect. And that's when it becomes a genuine benefit for you and for the world around you.